Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I wanted to talk about Edge Transit, somewhat of the hidden or alternative niche god role that's been going around, and not so much the exact numbers that come with that, because I'm just not that smart. You can go watch Aegis, Llama, Duck. They'll tell you exactly how much damage you're doing. But for me, I wanted to give the reality of the situation. I wanted to talk about my experiences with these roles and if you really shouldn't be farming for that auto loading or envious assassin bait and switch role. So here in my inventory, I have four roles. I've got auto loading holster, bait and switch, envious assassin, bait and switch, cascade point, bait and switch, and then stick your grenades, cascade point, and deconstruct. The one that I want to talk about today is this role here. I did find myself gravitating most towards auto loading holster and bait and switch just because you can easily fit that into any of your existing damage rotations, and this just works for my playstyle the most. But back to this stick your grenades, cascade point, deconstruct, this is the role that I've been seeing going around quite a bit as the alternative god role. These other two are definitely very good and can be considered god rolls in their own right, interchangeably so with auto and holster and bait and switch, but this one more so has the draw because of deconstruct and its infinite quotation marks ammo shenanigans. But what I wanted to talk about specifically is that it doesn't feel so great to use in practice. Here on Greg, you can see my damage with it using rain of fire, and you do get a very cool experience you know having ammo returned every two shots it's very weird it's very broken to be honest but this is a greg this is a boss that you can destroy with any of the other roles and i feel like the place where this deconstruct sticky nades role is going to shine is in a longer damage phase which about 90 percent of all our dps phases in destiny 2 right now are burst with that being said though there is one DPS phase going around right now that's kind of the hot stuff, which is Oryx from the most recent Pantheon. Oryx has a 45 second DPS phase, which I figured would be perfect for this role. Right now, Whisper is 100% the meta here. You can just hold left click and you one phase him. But that's because we have Solar Surge right now. I figured maybe on a week where we have Void Surge, a Deconstruct Sticky Nades to Edge Transit would take that spot because you need good ammo economy and damage, and we all know Edge Transit has the damage unlock, and with this Deconstruct Sticky Nades bug or exploit or feature, it can have the ammo economy down too. And that's where I ran into the reason why I'm making this video. As you're seeing on screen, even with Reign of Fire, it just did not do well. And that's because it didn't work. Sticky Grenades and Deconstruct works in such a weird way needing to hit the same spot with the gl and have your already embedded grenades blow up when you hit it and the timer and whatever else is involved in getting this exploity thing to work that on the one boss where it would be really good being oryx just didn't perform too well and so with that laid out i wanted to ask you guys is this even a hidden god role? Is this even the alternative god role if when you need it to do its job, it just fails to perform? I really want you guys in the comments to tell me what other places am I missing? Where would this almost infinite ammo GL actually be able to shine? Because I'm having a hard time coming up with places where I want to use it. I feel like 90% of the time I can just put on auto loading bait and switch and do much better than having to rely on this ammo regeneration gimmick. I don't want to be too hard on the GL because yes, this is a very potent combination. We're looking at it on Greg again, and you can get tons of shots off more than normal. Granted, they don't have an increase in damage, but you know, quantity over quality. And so if we look at the final shape raid and the witness is there with a billion health in a two hour long damage phase and everybody's running out of ammo, then this edge transit might actually come to the rescue and be the pick that we need. But right now, I fail to find a good use for it, at least not over the other edge transit roles, which is again why I made this video. I just wanted to showcase my experience with it and I want to ask you guys, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. What do you guys think I should be using this GL for? Because clearly it's not Oryx. This buggy, weird roll could become absolutely nuts in the final shape if the stars align. So if you got this roll, don't delete it, but I really wouldn't tell you to go out there and keep farming edge transit until you have one. And that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. Again, feel free to roast me in the comments if I'm just really overlooking how good this roll is, but for the time being, I'm going to stick to my auto loading bait and switch one. And of course, if you want to support me and support the channel, but you can't think of a comment, comment down below, deconstruct. I think I've done this like three times before, but we'll do it again. And with that, as usual, I hope you are having a great day and I hope to see you around.